In this video, we'll discuss SDT's recommended project setup, open standards file, add model to job, update standards, and batch update standards. Okay, so I have a new project file that I've created here called restaurant project. This has my data shortcuts and my model base files. So let's talk about the recommended practice of setting up your civil 3D files. Because we're thinking more along the lines of BIM and trying to pass this data along, we want to make sure our model files are separated. Um, and these would from, from our sheets, really. Um, these model bases would be like, uh, you know, surfaces, your, your survey base and things like that. And then you might have grading design, you might have a layout um, with line work that represents your site, uh, post drainage, pre drainage, utility design. And these would have your various civil 3D primary design objects that control your entire model of your design. Then you might have some XREF sheets or you may XREF these drawings right into your sheets. <clears throat> but with this, you've got this these model files set up completely separated um, from your sheet data. That's really the best practice. So once you have that set up, I'm gonna to go to Collection Manager and I'm just gonna use, well, let's go to jobs here. And we're gonna create a new job and we're gonna call it restaurant. And I'm gonna keep it in the, this folder here and I'm just gonna use uh, my example collection. And we're gonna use the DWG standards file template and the job data file template. And then we're going to pick that directory that we have our files in. And I'm going to select all my files, add them, finish and close. We'll hit apply and we'll let this process. All right, changes are saved. So if we look through here, we can see our model files are all in that restaurant job. We'll close the job explorer here. Now let's say I was given another file um, or we've created another file that represents a pipeline. This is just a simple polyline in here for demonstration purposes, but uh, I've got a pipeline going across my site and I want that in a separate file and I wanna add it to my um, job, which if we do a refresh here in Job Explorer and look at restaurant, you can see that the uh, you know, that is not in this list. We'll click, we can use this, add this model to a job. And then you have the ability to select your collection and the job that you wanna add it to. Click apply, and then it will add that to the job now. So now if we go to Job Explorer and refresh, you can see that model file is there and it's open because I'm in it. So now it's part of that job. And at the same time, the DWG props were then added to that job file. Now, the next thing we need to do is push out our property sets to all of our model files. And this can really be done at any point um, in the process because STT gives us tools that allow us to manage our property sets from a template. So uh, if you added a file that doesn't have any property sets in it, not a big deal. We can use STT and use update standards and push those files out to it. And we'll demonstrate that here in a minute. But first I wanna add a few things to our standards file to make sure that you know it has a, a couple custom things in here um, that I want. So we can use this open job standards file. And if you have a drawing that already that, that is open, that is already assigned to a job, and we run this, this tool, it's gonna open right up to the job that is assigned to it. If you don't have one open and we run it, it's gonna tell you that this current model is not assigned to a job and we need to assign it to a job. 
or we can just pick a collection and a job that we want to assign and we'll hit open and then it'll open that, jo that jobs um, job standard file. And again, this job standard file is unique to this job. It's duplicated from the templates folder. So we can make changes to this without worrying about updating the template. So we'll come into standards manager, or I'm sorry, style manager, and then we'll um, come down to property sets and I'll create a new, and I'm just gonna call this custom. And then I'm gonna add a couple um, property sets in here. Maybe it's a, a Unicode as a manual property. Let's put that one in there, hit apply. Oh, it's telling me it's not applied to anything. So we'll, um, we'll select all, apply. And now this property set will go on to all objects. And so they'll all get a Unicode property. Apply, and then we'll save this and close. <clears throat> now there's two tools uh, for updating standards and that's a singular version and a batch version. So let's open up this model pipeline again. And again, this Job Explorer, you do have to hit refresh for it to show properly sometimes. Um, but the model file is open now and I'll run update standards. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna pull uh, property set definitions out of the standards and put them in this file. So if I go to style manager and look, now it should have all the same SDT stuff that we previously had or in the in the template. And just to demonstrate, it was saved after as well. We can go ahead and save it again. Um, just to demonstrate that some of the other files don't have any property sets in it, let's open up the layout. And we'll go style manager and show that there's no property sets in this. And I'm gonna close the layout. And instead of running just a singular update standards, we'll run the batch update standards. And now what's nice about this is that on these, some of these batch tools, they might be long processes, but they use AC Core Console, which is ex external to your current Civil 3D session. Um, so we can pick our uh, collection and our job and then select what files we want to update. And I'm just gonna go ahead and select them all. And if I hit update, it's gonna go and update all the standards in there um, for each one of those files. And some of these, you know, depending on the number of files you're selecting, it could take some time. So while that's syncing, you can actually minimize this because it's in its own EXE and you can keep working on something else within Civil 3D and then return back to this while it's running. So it gives you some updates on what files it's on and where it's, where it's at in the process. And again, updating the property sets can be done at any time in your project. So if you added, if you, if you decided, oh, I need to add a property set uh, for something specific to your project, you can come do that later in the project and push them back out. As long as you didn't like completely change something drastic in your style manner, it shouldn't affect any of your entities. Um, if the naming change that should sync up, um, everything should match up with, with that, with, with the property sets. So now let's go back to Job Explorer. We're gonna open up that layout file that we demonstrated earlier, style manager. And now you can see that the same um, property sets that we added are now part of this file uh, from the template. So see the next video when you're ready to learn more about what SDT is capable of with attaching data to objects and syncing out to the job data file.